Although marketed as a song about global warming, the video of All Good Girls Go to Hell contains symbols and references, alluding to a darker spiritual message. Here's the deeper meaning of All Good Girls Go to Hell. Billie Eilish is currently the most popular and influential pop star in the world. If you're asking yourself, Billy who? Then you're probably not a 14-year-old girl. Because nearly all 14-year-old girls know about Billie Eilish. Indeed, she's the current teen idol that's pictured on the cover of all teen magazines, plastered all over social media, and discussed on all gossip sites. Undeniable proof of Eilish's popularity can be found on YouTube, as her video, All the Good Girls Go to Hell, amassed over 13 million views and 140,000 comments in less than 24 hours. Billie Eilish is also earning great praise in the music industry, as she is deemed the future of pop by several prominent figures. While Billie's fans love the singer's unique style and persona, there is definitely nothing unique about the themes and the symbolism found in her videos. In my previous video about the disturbing meaning of Billie Eilish's Bury a Friend, I explained how Billie Eilish's entire act is based on the concepts of trauma-based mind control and pseudo-Satanism, themes that can be found in countless other music videos, released by countless other pop stars. In her music video, entitled, Bury a Friend, Billie is abused and drugged by unseen people, mind control handlers. She then shows signs of being possessed by a demon as she sings the words. For the dead I owe, gotta sell my soul. Cause I can't say no, no, I can't say no. Then my limbs all froze and my eyes won't close. And I can't say no, I can't say no. This is a screenshot from Bury a Friend. Billy looks out of it and abused by unseen handlers. Following Bury a Friend, Eilish released Bad Guy, a colorful and humorous video, custom made to please young viewers. The song became a massive hit that quickly topped the charts and made Billie Eilish a household name. Then, All the Good Girls Go to Hell was released. And it was not colorful nor humorous. The video picks up where Barry a friend left off as it features Billie's mind-controlled and demon-possessed alter persona, singing from the perspective of Lucifer to the youth. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The marketing surrounding All the Good Girls Go to Hell, claims that the song, is about global warming. The description of the YouTube video contains this note from Billy. A note from Billy. Right now there are millions of people all over the world begging our leaders to pay attention. Our earth is warming up at an unprecedented rate, ice caps are melting, our oceans are rising, our wildlife is being poisoned, and our forests are burning. On September 23rd, the UN will host the 2019 Climate Action Summit to discuss how to tackle these issues. The clock is ticking. On Friday September 20th and Friday September 27th, you can make your voice be heard. Take it to the streets. Hashtag climate strike. Most media sources also followed suit and praised the song's environmental message. However, as is often the case in mass media, the main message of the video is completely ignored. Indeed, one cannot watch the video without noticing the heavy-handed satanic undertones of the entire thing. While the song and the video do contain references to global warming, All the Good Girls Go to Hell is mainly an occult elite manifesto where Billy plays the role of Lucifer himself. The video begins with a scene from Bury a Friend, which indicates that All the Good Girls Go to Hell is the sequel. Billy is stabbed with several needles by the unseen people who abused her in Bury a Friend. In Bury a Friend, the injections cause Billy to become demon-possessed, or something of the sorts. In All the Good Girls Go to Hell, things are taken to another level. After the injections, Billy grows massive wings on her back. Billy then falls from the sky. Billie Eilish is a fallen angel, the nickname of Lucifer. This scene appears to be inspired by the classic artwork, The Fall of Satan, by Gustav Dore. This painting, is The Fall of Satan, by Gustav Dore, depicts Lucifer falling to earth after rebelling against God. The intro of the video, provides the context needed to understand the rest of it. Billie is drugged by unseen people, and ends up under the control of Lucifer. The first words of the song confirm this fact. My Lucifer is lonely. 
This enigmatic line refers to the classic image of an angel and a devil on a person's shoulder. By singing My Lucifer is Lonely, Billy indicates that there is no angel on her shoulder. Therefore, she is fully controlled by the devil. In the video, Billy's eyes reflect this state of control. Take a look on these pictures. Left. Billy and Barry a friend with black eyes. Right. Billy and all the good girls go to hell with the same black eyes. The black eyes indicate that her soul is possessed. The lyrics of the song come from the perspective of Lucifer singing through Billy. The first verse denigrates the concept of heaven where good people are rewarded with eternal life. Standing there, killing time. Can't commit to anything but a crime. Peter's on vacation, an open invitation. Animals, evidence. Pearly gates look more like a picket fence. Once you get inside them. Got friends but can't invite them. The verse refers to Saint Peter, who is said to be the guardian of heaven at the pearly gates. Those who are rejected are sent to hell. Billy sings that Peter is on vacation, meaning that the gateway to heaven is not guarded and that anybody can rush in. However, in the next lines, Billy compares the pearly gates to a picket fence, which is often associated with the boring domestic life of suburban America. She adds that she cannot invite her friends in heaven because, apparently, they're bound to hell. What kind of friends does she have? Oh right, people and show busyness. Bull Billy disses heaven, hell is. On earth. As Billy walks down the street covered in oil, everything around her catches fire. Hell is on earth. The pre-chorus emphasizes this concept. Hills burn in California. My turn to ignore you. Don't say I didn't warn you. The line Hills Burns in California is said to be a reference to the California wildfires which are blamed on global warming. Billy, aka Lucifer, sings that she won't do anything about it. She's actually glad this is happening. On a biblical level, the pre-chorus refers to Earth becoming hell. And she's actually glad this is happening. The chorus points at the powerlessness of God, face to what is happening on Earth. All the good girls go to hell. Cause even God herself has enemies. And once the water starts to rise. And heaven's out of sight. She'll want the devil on her team. In the song, God is referred to as female. The same concept was also exploited on Ariana Grande's song, God is Woman. It is a reversal of the traditional title, Heavenly Father given to God. Facing the threat of water rising on earth due to global warming, God is portrayed as helpless. She even asks the devil for help. In the second verse, Lucifer rejects pleas from God to help humanity. Look at you, needing me. You know I'm not your friend without some greenery. Walk in wearing fetters. Peter should know better. Your cover-up is caving in. Man is such a fool, why are we saving him? Poisoning themselves now. Begging for our help, wow. In this verse, Lucifer shows utter contempt for humanity and is happy to see it destroy itself. Do you know who else is happy to see humanity destroy itself? The occult elite, those who control Billy, those who sing through her. They would love to see a massive depopulation of humanity. At one point, the trail of oil causes Billy's wings to catch fire. At the end of the video, the feathers on the wings are all burned off. Lucifer cannot fly anymore and is here to stay. Also, notice the women dancing in hellfire. Good girls are in hell. After watching Earth turn into hell, the song ends with these ominous words. My Lucifer is lonely. There's nothing left to save now. My God is gonna owe me. There's nothing left to save now. To sum up, Billie Eilish is drugged by those who control her. She turns into her black-eyed, demonic persona and grows the wings of Lucifer. She descends to Earth and, as fire spreads around her, she denigrates humanity and laughs at the powerlessness of God. All the good girls go to hell, is a message from the occult elite to the masses. We enjoy seeing you become corrupt and die. The same feelings of hatred against humanity can be found in songs by other stars, such as Poppy and Madonna, both of them also love pseudo-satanic symbolism. In All the Good Girls Go to Hell, the messenger is a mind-controlled devil-possessed pop star who is used to push the elite's agendas, including the normalization of Satanism, the desecration of Christianity, and the using of fake global warming panic to cause fear and hatred against humanity. Controlled by Lucifer, the favorite biblical figure of the occult elite, Billy sings to her legions of young fans that it is cool to be evil because good girls go to hell. 
In short, all the good girls go to hell, is less about the destruction of the earth, and more about the destruction of the soul. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.